I just woke up. They're waiting for us. All right. Oh, my God. Welcome to the village meeting of October 1st, 2019. Uh, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As you can see, Teresa is not here, our mayor, tonight. She is in a meeting of the Nuclear Decommissioning and Used Fuel Strategy, which will be all part of uh, gaining more knowledge for the village and uh, how we're going down this road, since it's a new situation for many places in the country with their nuclear power plants closing. So hopefully she'll come back with a lot of good information. The meeting tonight should be short because there's not too much on the agenda. But I'd like to introduce our police commissioner. He would like to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, just a couple of things I wanted to uh, go over. Uh, first and foremost, that Buchanan Day, I understand, uh, unfortunately I couldn't make it, I was away. But we did have a car seat inspection and checkpoint uh, set up for residents to come in and have their car seats either professionally installed or inspected. Unfortunately, very few people took uh, advantage of it, but I wanted to reiterate to the public that that service is available uh, by appointment, uh, and it's a, a, a service that I think is uh, very worthwhile. Uh, we tend to think that putting a car seat into a vehicle is something that's simple, and I guess it seems to be, but just to let you know that to be certified as a car seat installation technician, you go through five days of training. So. That kind of gives you an idea how involved it is. So uh, just wanted to let residents know that that service does uh, remain available, and I hope that some take advantage of it. Uh, secondly, I just wanted to uh, remind everyone it is on the village calendar that this Saturday from 9 uh, till 11, maybe 11.30, depending on the turnout, we will have uh, coffee with a cop. It will be here in the parking lot of Village Hall. We'll have a tent set up at a table. It'll be an opportunity for the public to come out, meet, uh, myself, if I haven't met you already, and some of the police officers will be there as well. Just a, uh, a nice uh, impromptu kind of setup where people can come and discuss any concerns they may have, uh, issues they want to bring up, any anything they want to bring to our attention, or just to say hello. And, and Chief, what, what's uh, the time else. on that again? 9 to 11.30. Okay, and that'll be in the parking lot. Uh, coffee and uh, some uh, refreshments will be served. So the one that's yeah, come, come early with the coffee still warm, depending on the temperature outside. Let me throw one out for, for you, uh, uh, trustee Pesco. I got something that never leaves. When you I retire from the job, you still like it. I like shall be there. I like it, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so 9 to 11.30 on Saturday, this Saturday uh, morning here in the parking lot. Okay? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, comments from the floor, agenda items only? And new business, we have a resolution authorizing the use of the village facility. Uh, let's see, that's that, that number two. Whereas the village trustees of the village of Pecan have received a request for the use of the village pavilion from Celeste Leibowitz for a birthday party on October 5th, 2019, at which time beer and wine will be available. Now be it therefore resolved that the requests are hereby approved subject the applicants complying with all village requirements for the use of this facility, including the full-time adult supervision of the serving of beer and wine. On the motion? So moved. Second. Oh, all right. Discussion? Well, uh, no. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution authorizing the employment of seasonal help, whereas during the fall season it is the custom of the village to employ staff on a seasonal basis to assist at the highway department with the leaf removal season, and whereas it is the desire of the village board to hire staff for a period of time beginning on October 2nd, 2019, and concluding on December 20th, 2019, now be it therefore resolved that the following individuals be and hereby are appointed subject to the village hiring policies as a fall seasonal employee to be paid at the hourly rate set forth next to their name. 
Kyle Anderson, $12. Justin Cusano, $12. Be it further resolved that the village clerk be and hereby is authorized to place the aforementioned individual on the village payroll for the fall season and to pay the salaries as set forth above. On the motion? So moved. Second. Discussion? Uh, is $12 uh, an hour, is that the current minimum, state minimum wage, and it's on a progression working up to 15, isn't it? Correct. Okay. When's the next step, do you know? January. January. Okay. Thanks. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Lastly, we have a village of Buchanan resolution appointing <coughs> members to the Citizens Advisory Group for the Local Waterfront Revitalization Plan. Whereas the Village of Buchanan, in cooperation with the Town of Portland and the New York State Department of State, are assembling a citizens' advisory group for the Joint Local Waterfront Revitalization Plan. And whereas the Village of Buchanan desires to appoint five village residents as members of the citizens' advisory group who will attend the meetings with town and village staff, citizen advisory group members from the town, representatives from New York State, and the consulting firm of BN Associates over the course of the next 12 months to develop the joint LWRP. Now, therefore, be resolved that the following five individuals from the village of Buchanan are hereby appointed to the members of the citizens' advisory group for the joint local waterfront revitalization plan with the understanding that should the size of the CAG need to be trimmed, the village of Buchanan will remove one or more members. And members are Nicholas Zachary, Michelle O'Neill, Kelly Wall, Mary Function, Lindy, Linda Wiley. On the motion. So moved. Second. And discussion. Uh, Nick, would you give a short explanation? Yeah, uh, so this is uh, grant money that the town and village got jointly to uh, study a, um, a waterfront uh, revitalization plan. It's um, it's not strictly, I understand, just the waterfront. Uh, uh, we have not had our first meeting yet. Uh, and uh, I'm actually meeting on Thursday with uh, the town planner who's uh, spearheading this effort. And we'll try and iron out how many members will continue to be involved and just what the, uh, um, the area that we'll be studying is. So there'll be more details to follow, but that's where it stands right now. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, next, we have information from officers and departments. We have the, uh, the Justice Court report that's received. We have the police reports and the minutes from the zoning board. The attorney's report? I have nothing for you. Okay. Trustees, we start with you, uh, Wayne Johnson. Uh, Beautiful spring day today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. I can't be surprised. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, no, I just want to uh, comment on a letter that most of the public won't be aware of that came from one of our uh, town residents, Diane Hanson, about the concern of the uh, highway job uh, slated to go in effect uh, by the state of New York, and that we've got some updates thanks to Nick and uh, others. Uh, from the town about when it's going to start and uh, you know citizen participation and holding Albany's feet to the fire and as Diane mentioned in her uh, email you know I mean we pay some high taxes here in Buchanan and uh, statewide so you know we should have the best roads and it to be done in a timely manner so I thank Diane for her diligence in uh, making sure that uh, we keep them uh, keep them up front and uh, Nick I believe it's going to be starting when? well uh, there there uh, they should you should see them out on the road in the next week or two uh, initially they're going to only be doing um, curb cuts and uh, ADA ramps and things like that the the preparation on the sides of the road uh, the actual paving will once they finish that will begin with the milling um, I spoke to the project manager from DOT today, and, and um, uh, it, it, he basically said it should be over by the end of, of uh, November, uh, but it should be in the next week or two that you'll start to see them out there doing preparation work. And 
also, as always, uh, curb your dog. Curb your dog's dog because what flows into the catch basin flows into our lovely lake. And we want to keep that clean. And uh, school's back in, so watch the kids on the bike. And uh, that's it for me. Thank you. Nick? Yeah, thank you. Uh, that uh, we covered this uh, first thing on my list, which was the, uh, the paving. Uh, to give that update, um, I um, attended the 9/11 uh, ceremony that's held every year, and I'm just still blown away every time I see that memorial. It's it's uh, it's one of the loveliest I've seen. Um, the Buchanan, Croton, Cortland 9/11 memorial, which is on the river in Croton. It is about a half mile or so walk from the nearest parking lot. It, it, which is unfortunate, but it, it's a beautiful spot, and, um, and it was a great ceremony. I'm glad to see the town and village, and the two villages, uh, keeping. Um, it, it's not that many years, so it seems strange to be saying to keep the memory alive, but um, there tends to be a short memory for things. I mean, there's kids these days that don't even know who the Beatles were. So, um, you know, good to see uh, uh, people out there and, and doing that every year. Um, and there was a uh, Indian Point task force meeting uh, that I went to last week. Uh, Mayor Nick Barker is on that um, committee. Uh, I am not, but I went to just to listen in. And um, uh, it's uh, the, th the biggest thing I took out of it. The most important thing is the um, with the with Energy planning to sell the plant to uh, Holtec, which is a decommissioning company. Uh, a very big issue going forward for the villages if they buy it the, the uh, decommissioning time is about 10 years if they don't buy it the de decommissioning time is about 60 years so the village definitely has a keen interest in making sure that the sale is successful to Holtec which is what they've stated is their intention so I'm optimistic that that won't be sitting there with nuclear structures for 60 years um, for the public, there is a meeting at Morabito Town Center tomorrow night from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's tomorrow night, Wednesday night, uh, and that's an NRC meeting. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission will be there to, uh, um, to talk about the plant closing and to answer questions, um, and um, uh, it's open to the public at the Morabito Town Center, again, tomorrow night from 6 to 9 p.m. I um, just want to mention for the next workshop, again, these meetings aren't, the workshops are not televised. Anybody that wants to attend, a couple of topics that I hope we can uh, visit at that workshop. One is that uh, I'd like to revisit the 9A repaving um, uh, parking. We had discussed changing the parking regulations on Route 9A and take the village taking that over uh, to try to clean up some of the excessive parking along that corridor. Uh, from Blakely to Tate Avenue, and um, I'd like to revisit that at the next workshop. As And uh, also, uh, I spoke to somebody from the Beautification Committee. They would like to come to the next workshop to to um, uh, to discuss their uh, desire to have a uh, an Earth Day uh, celebration next spring in the village, and just to sort of, they want to ask some questions and see about what it will take to get that started. Um, and also, I'd like at the next workshop to revisit, to, to continue the discussion on some of the zoning proposals we've um, been talking about recently, some of the rezoning proposals at the next workshop. Lastly, I just want to thank the mayor who is down in North Carolina for this uh, uh, nuclear uh, forum. Uh, basically, I want to thank her for doing her homework. It's a lot of work to get up to snuff on all the issues we're facing right now, and I think she's uh, really going the extra mile and, and doing everything she can, so I want to thank her. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Deputy Mayor. Thank you. First of all, um, uh, Buchanan Day was Saturday. It was a beautiful day, and it was nice to see as many people that came out to support it. Uh, the, the committee did a wonderful job, as usual. And uh, I'm going to give another shout out tonight. Uh, we still haven't 
haven't had an administrator hired yet. I just want to personally thank Cindy, Sharon, for all you guys are doing. Really, it doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you. You guys have really been the glue while we haven't had Kevin's replacement yet. And also Stephanie, too. You, know, you guys have really been working hard. And, and you know, thank you for all of that. Uh, and also, on, um, um, on, on a personal note, um, in 2003, I don't know if anybody remembers this story, but there was a, um, a full-grown Bengal tiger in somebody's apartment in Harlem that they kept as a pet. That tiger died today. The only reason why I bring it up, it was in, in, a, in a sanctuary or wherever it was, but I was one of the sectors that responded to that. <laughs> so, he was big. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so just, just a little aside. And also, um, I just have a couple of things that uh, uh, the Sergeant uh, Shane gave me that I'd just like to read out a couple of our uh, uh, police incidents here. On uh, August 21st, 2019, at approximately 8.18 a.m., Officer Palmetto was conducting vehicle and traffic law enforcement at a stop sign in the village. When he observed the vehicle for, failed to stop for the stop sign, he conducted a vehicle <coughs> and traffic stop through further investigation. It was determined that the operator of the vehicle had a suspended New York State driver's license. The operator was sub sub subsequently arrested and charged with aggravated unlicensed operation of a motor vehicle and issued a traffic summons. On uh, August 22, 2019, approximately 5.27 p.m., Officer Buddy responded to a report of a domestic dispute in a village residence. Upon investigation, speaking with all parties involved, it was determined that no crime had been committed. Officer Buddy was able to mediate the situation and no further calls to residents were received. On August 29, at approximately 8.15, Officer Tiernan received a call for a missing child. Officer Tiernan began an investigation. The child was eventually located at their residence in good health and the investigation was, was closed. There's a couple more here. One uh, is another traffic, uh, another traffic stop that, uh, that uh, uh, an uh, uh, arrest was made for suspended New York State driver's license by Officer Buddy and Officer Palmetto also uh, responded to a, a family dispute and uh, with the help of Officer Tiernan, the investigation resulted in the arrest of an individual for assault. Just one thing about these, these things that I read today, um, I think the chief is here and he'll agree with that. Car stops and domestic violence are two of the hardest and most dangerous things that police officers can do. And also, I, our police officers are one-man cars, you know, so thank you for all you guys do and, and, and thank you for keeping us updated on these things. I appreciate it, as we all appreciate it. Uh, that's about uh, the time I have. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Um, <clears throat> myself, I was at Buchanan Day. I'm on the committee there. And I'd just like to really point out uh, Colleen Lonigan, who kind of really runs the whole show. She does so much work. And uh, it turned out so so nicely this year. Of course, we had great weather. So it's a thanks to her and the other members of the committee, Naomi and Beth. Uh, at the Buchanan Day, we had the announcement from our, se our state senator, Pete Parkham, that we are receiving a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar grant in to fix and to repair the pavilion. So that was that was really nice to, to be there and to accept that. And uh, it's nice to see government working. Uh, also, teach to follow up their, our staff and and the highway people working. It's understaffed, and I appreciate all the work that the employees have, have been doing in a situation where there, there is not full staff. Finally, uh, just uh, we, we have Halloween coming up. We're going to have a Halloween parade. I think it went around to everybody in the new newsletter about the Halloween parade. But most of all, be, be careful with, with your children. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, sometimes there's people who come out of that time of year and take advantage of situations. All right, comments uh, from the floor, anybody? Uh, on? Okay, motion to... Yes. I need to make a motion to go into executive session. I believe the police chief has the candidate, police officer candidate that would like to be in discussion of executive sessions. Oh, okay. Uh, motion to go to executive session. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The rest, thank you for coming. <laughs>